What's up everybody? We're getting ready to head to Lakeview Motor Speedway chasing $5,000 with the SCDRA series. This is the second points race of the season and I'm ready to go. Lakeview Motor Speedway is one of my favorite tracks to go to on the schedule. The Tripp family does a great job running the place and they always make it feel like home. And one thing that we've really been looking forward to is we get to celebrate the 2023 Sportsman of the Year Award with Speedway Barbecue. They're gonna come Saturday afternoon, cook a low country boil for us, and it is gonna be awesome. I'm getting ready to hop on the road now. We got about a four hour ride in front of us, and we got practice tonight, qualifying. I will see you guys at Lakeview Motor Speedway. Alright guys, well we made it to Lakeview Motor Speedway, getting ready to go out for the first round of practice. They've already ran it around, but I didn't go out for it. So we're getting ready to go out now, we'll see how the old girl does. Guys, I'm just chilling in the Airbnb waiting on the fam to get here. So we qualified fifth last night and the car felt pretty good, but I went up in tire size. And when I did that, the tires were just murdering the inside of the fender wells. It was acting like I had the brakes on full lock through the corner and it was slowing us down a lot, but we were still pretty quick for, for what was going on. So this track has actually been reshaped since the last time we were here last year and it's actually carrying a lot more corner speed, which is making the overall track speed faster. What I have in the car for a transmission right now isn't perfect on the gear, so that's why we're playing around with tire size so much, and I ran a bigger tire last night than I'd ever run before. I'm gonna try a couple things tonight. I'm gonna try to play with the stagger a little bit to see if we can free the car up some, and what stagger is, it's the diameter of say the right front tire compared to the left front tire. So you might run an inch of stagger, inch and a half stagger. Um, everyone has different preferences of what they wanna run, but I got a tire on the way. We're gonna mount it up and see if it'll help us out some. We got the second round of qualifying today, main event later tonight. And if the times hold from the first round of qualifying, we'll be rolling off fifth and the car's gonna be really good. So I'm looking forward to it. One thing I wanna say about Lakeview Motor Speedway and the Trip family that runs this place is they, they really care about the racers and they always try to put 
on events that make it a good time for everybody at the track. They had a pit party after qualifying and everything, and I had full intentions of going to it, but after the exhausting week I had and the extreme lack of sleep, I felt like it was probably a better decision to go home and get some rest. My body was definitely telling me it had enough. Getting ready to head to the track here in a little bit. We'll give it another shot tonight and hope to cash in on another big check. What are you doing? Hey, you fixing it? All right, guys, so this is Big A here with Speedway Barbecue. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. I know you guys do like some competition cooking type stuff, but uh, tell us what Speedway Barbecue is. So well, we're, we're out here a lot. We do um, some catering and stuff for a local fellow uh, that runs out of here, Benji Thompson and the Thompson Motorsports guys. But um, we travel around and try to do good things for good causes. And um, you know, lucky enough, uh, we, we picked uh, Sportsman of the Year and your peers there uh, <laughs> voted you the, the, the nicest guy in the pit. So yeah. here we are and, um, and we're happy to do it. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it'll be a good time. My buddy Paul, who does the announcement and stuff for the series, he, he had mentioned something that made me feel really good on Facebook. He said I was kind of the Mark Martin of the SCDRA series. As most of you know, Mark Martin was always a fierce competitor, but a good guy in the pits. And it means a lot to me that, you know, not only the people, but my other race, the fellow racers actually think about me like that too. It's great to hear and great to watch. We had to watch it from home, uh, but we watched, um, watched you guys up there in Tennessee and it kind of got us a little stirred up to watch you get stirred up. So it was uh, really good to see, man. <laughs> yeah, like I was telling you earlier, I, my mom started crying and when that happened, I started crying. And I was just like, I couldn't handle myself, but. That's what it's all about. You know, yeah. you come out here and work hard and have, you know, go out here and do all the hard stuff, but. Um, you know, and winning is great, but, but, but being a good guy while you do it's even greater. Like after that Clarksville race, you know, I, I had said on Facebook, I was like, I was like, you know, you guys brought winning the race to a whole new level because all the, the outpouring of support and everything like that was just, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you don't realize how big things are until things like that happen. Yeah, whenever this thing gets ready, we're gonna show you guys the final product and we're super stoked on it. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go out for the second round of qualifying. The track's looking really good, so I think there is a potential that it could be faster. I tired down compared to last night to try to help the gearing out a little bit. Feeling pretty good about it, so we'll see what we can do.
because that was a wild race. We had issues right before the main that we found and we didn't have time to fix them. It looked like my left front lower ball joint was coming apart. My buddy Mike come by, looked at the car, he's like, hey man, the car's towed out. And I was like, we just checked it, it was good. But come to find out, uh, that bad ball joint was causing the toe to come out half an inch and it was no good. I didn't really feel it in qualifying because we were in the throttle the whole time. And under yellow, when I was cruising around, I could definitely feel the car wandering. I honestly didn't really have high expectations for the main. I was just going to go out there and try to maintain. But honestly, the car just fell right. I felt like we maybe had a sixth place car, maybe fifth place at best. But, you know, like I said, the car just fell right. We were able to bring home second. Super happy with that after the run we had last weekend. And, you know, we're going to get it fixed and go on to the next one. I want to give a shout out to everyone that came out tonight. Thanks to my wife. Thanks to Brandon. Thanks to Michael Crouch. And, all you guys that came out and helped me, truly appreciate it. Shout out to Action Graphics, DAM Trucking, k &R Services, Jason Waters Tuning, Finding Tools, Southeast Performance. You guys make this thing happen. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this thing to your friend. We'll see you guys on the next one. Kate has a nap all day today. I'm surprised he can still go.